No adventure would be complete without a strong-willed, seductive, manipulative, and fun-loving villain. And you are? Eris, the goddess of discord. Eris, the goddess of chaos. Yeah, she's, she's trouble. She's nice looking, but she's trouble. Well, Michelle Pfeiffer brings a, a sexy, fun voice. Uh, she does have a very dark tone in her delivery for, for Eris, which helped out a lot. And it was great to look at her facial expressions, how she was acting out certain lines of dialogue. That, of course, helped a lot with, uh, with animating her. When DreamWorks approached me, all they said was the goddess of chaos, and I, I said, yes. <laughs> it just sounded like so much fun. Like it? Huh. I'm planning on doing the whole world this way. Michelle came in and gave so much body to this character, so much of her ability as an actress really comes through in her voice. Just look at them. I pull one tiny thread and their whole world unravels into chaos. Glorious chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, what she's after is world chaos, and she's using Sinbad to steal the Book of Peace. Steal the book for ransom, and you'll be rich enough to lounge on an island beach. Steal the book for me, and you can buy the beach. I think that starts out as a game, and she's pretty sure what the end result will be because she is convinced that man is just weak. And Sinbad proves her wrong, and that is frustrating and irritating at the same time um, makes it all the more exciting for her. Very early on, we talked about Eris being sort of the product of her own thought, meaning that she could think about something and become that thing. She can think about moving someplace, and she's just there. She morphs, she twists, she changes shapes. Eris was the most challenging character in, in the movie. Who's there? because just for the design of her, she appears and reappears, and so much of her was discovered in the animation. The Eris effects by nature are um, almost like silk under water or cream and coffee. It's unlike anything that has been done in a traditionally animated film before. She's just as much of an effect as she is a character. <laughs> Make yourself at home. It was really fun doing the morphing. There was no boundaries to you know, once I got her into the morphine kind of section, there was no model sheets. It's just having fun. It's just pure animation. No mortal has ever made it to Tartarus before. <laughs> Alive, that is. 